The last time you opened up your hive, you realized how quickly the colony had grown, and you're going to soon be ready to add the third super on your hive. But one week before you do that, you want to make sure you add what we call a queen excluder. Now the gaps in the queen excluder are large enough to let through the workers, but too small to let the queen through with her large abdomen. I prefer to place the queen excluder between the first and the second box. That way the queen stays in the bottom and lays all of her eggs and larvae there, and the workers can go stack the honey in the top supers. Now it's important to place this queen excluder at least six weeks before you do your honey harvest. Now you want to make sure that this queen excluder is never bent, or else the, the queen will find that little gap and make her way up and start laying eggs all through your honey, and that's no fun. Now it can be a little difficult to put the queen excluder because you need to find the queen and have her at the bottom box. That can be a little challenging because you have 20 frames to go through and thousands of bees. So I have a little trick for those that are not quite comfortable in doing that yet. At the end of a regular inspection, add your queen excluder between the first and the second box, regardless of if you've found the queen or not. So you want to put it on nice and smoothly, making sure all of the corners are nice and even. Then close up the hive just as usual. <coughs> Now we're going to wait seven days and we're going to pay particular attention to eggs or larvae that are less than seven days old. That will be an indication of where the queen is found and we can readjust the boxes depending on what we find. It's now been a week that the queen excluder is between your first and second box. It's now time to determine in which of those boxes the queen really is. We're going to open up the hive just as usual. Put some smoke in front. Now we want to go through the frames just as usual, but we're going to pay particular attention to eggs and larvae that are less than seven days old. Now we start my second frame. Hmm. Now in this frame, I can see larva that's five days old. That's a clear indication the queen is in this box. Only thing is, this is the top box and we need the queen to be in the first box. So I'm going to show you how we can transfer those two boxes. Now to swap these boxes, take your first box and drop it on your inner cover, just like this. And we can take the other box and put it in the first position. Voila! You can now put your queen excluder on top of this box. And finally add your second box. The hive is now well organized and the inspections from now on are going to be much easier. Because even if you have multiple supers of honey, the inspection is only going to be of frames in the bottom box, the brood box. 